Monday. We're on Fiji time though, so it doesn't actually feel like a Monday, which is fantastic. I told myself that I would make an extra effort to vlog this trip, and I have not done such a thing. It's Monday today, we leave on Thursday, so we've got three full days and a half day left. So I'm gonna vlog the remainder of the trip for you guys. We don't have a whole lot planned. We're going out to an island tomorrow, so you guys will come with us for that, but apart from that, we're just chilling, we're on Fiji time, we're reading books, we're swimming in the pool, and it's a great time. This morning I went to the gym with Sage, and it was so hot. I swear they don't have air conditioning in the gym. It's warmer inside than it is outside. We both went, but we did like our own separate things. I did legs and she did upper body. It was so disgustingly hot that when I went on the leg press and I like sat up afterwards, the sweat from my back was dripping down the seat. And I was like, that's disgusting. Came back, went for a little dip in the pool with Sage to cool off, and now we're gonna get on with the day. We don't have anything planned for today. We were gonna go maybe zip lining, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. But I have some emails I need to reply to for not work. I'm on annual leave, but for like social media stuff. So I need to do that before I get too far into the day because I've been procrastinating replying. But my re response is due by midday today, so I need to have a bit more urgency on that. So I'm gonna do some emails and then read my book. So far on this trip, I've finished one book, which is Love Theoretically. Gave it a four out of five stars. It was a bit slow to start off with, a lot of groundwork to get the plot happening, but the end was very good. I'm very happy with that. I'm also in the middle of reading November 9. I started this, not yesterday, but like the day before, after I finished Love Hyper what is it? Love Theoretically, yeah. Very far into it. I, I will probably finish this today. But I'm also reading Shoe Dog about the founder of Nike's life. Um, which is a bit of a slow one because there's a lot of information to comprehend. My brain's kind of turned to mush on this trip. That one's not really my priority right now. It is 11 o'clock and I have smashed out a whole lot of editing this morning. I'm actually quite proud of myself because I was really not in the mood, but we got it done. I exported the vlog that's going up tonight. I've edited the next one and then obviously started this one that you guys are now watching. Who's here right now? I'm in this room with dad and mum and my auntie and uncle. And then in a separate room is Matt and Sage and Ryan and Cameron and Ash. And in a separate room is our family friends from Auckland. Another room we have our family friends from Christchurch. And another room is my cousins who are going home today. Ryan just rang to say there's something that he wants to show us down at reception. So let's go for a walk. Hey! <laughs> Where are you guys going? How low is that? Well, it's a quick place for you, the job. How's it going, guys? Yeah. Oh, Buller. What's this? Oh, the Bro Box. The Bro Box. box. Where did you take it? Mackins. <laughs> <laughs> There's no grip on that. Well, guys, a little bit later on. It's one o'clock and I have just been outside reading November 9. I'm absolutely hooked on the book. I only started reading it like yeah, a couple days ago. But we are going for a spin in the bro box. Going to the supermarket to get some coke and I want to get some kombucha. Um, but the boys are going to take me for a spin in this car, which is going to be an experience. Giving the headlights a uh, clean. Oh, right, right, right. That's All fine. aboard, guys. What? I can't, this one doesn't go down. He told me Hello. it's broken. He said it's broken. 7.95 for one kombucha. Tell the guys, this lighting is absolutely shocking and you're currently balancing on a toilet roll. It is quarter to five. Yeah, quarter to five. Yeah, okay, I need to make some moves and I need to make them fast. I spent the afternoon reading and I finished my book and it was so good and I'm so sad that it's finished. I was like, oh, I'll just read the next one, but there is no next one. So I'm a little bit sad, but the ending was perfect and I loved it. So highly recommend November 9. It's a 5 out of 5 stars from me. But anyway, we went for a little swim in the adult's pool and then we all came back to our room because our room has a pool, which is next level, insane. Can't believe it, childhood dreams coming true and the pool is also heated so it's like a nice 23 degrees, which is very nice. We all played lots of games in the pool. We played handstand competitions, we did flip competitions, we played volleyball, we played like squash up against the wall. And it was just a good time. Matt and Sage and Cam and Ash and Ryan are all going down to the port for dinner at Lulu's, which is like a Japanese kind of restaurant that is sushi and sashimi and stuff. And I'm craving some sashimi and apparently it's great. So I'm going to go with them down to the port, have a little entree with them. I'm going to have dinner back at the back of the hotel room. But I'm going to go down with them to the port, have a little entree. They're going to go into town because they're going to Nandy to go to the cinemas. Also the movies that they're going to. One of the reviews is that the movie stopped partway through because the generator ran out of petrol. So yeah, I'm sure they're going to have a great time. When they go into Nandy to go watch their movie, I will come back to the hotel and have my actual dinner, which is steak, which I'm so excited for. I flipping love steak. But I'm just getting myself ready because I've spent most of the afternoon in the pool. So I'm kind of feeling like a prune. It is so hot. 
I'm sweating balls right now. That's the gist, that's what's happening, and I'll see you guys when I'm on the way to dinner. There has been a change in plans as to be expected because we're running on Fiji time and there's nothing wrong with that. I went up to their room to go get my entree, to go to the port, to get our sushi, to get our sashimi. Why did I say it like that? Sashimi, sashimi, sashimi. They decided that they're not gonna go to their movie tonight. There's not as much urgency on going to the port. So we're gonna go to the port at six. It is quarter to six and I've come back to our room because we have the primo spot for watching the sunset. It's not overexposed right now that you can't see anything. There you go. And we're staying at the Wyndham, which is where we also have our timeshare, which is the same place at the same timeshare that we used when we went to Australia. Same time show I used when I went to Wanaka, if you've been around since those vlogs. We use it all over the place, but with COVID we had some credits that were expiring, and so we decided to splurge out this year, and we're staying in what they call the presidential suite. So we have a little pool, we have three bedroom, basically like a house, little kitchen, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, or two and a half bathrooms, and waterfront views. I have peaked far too early in my life. So this is where we've been staying. Well, we're staying here for 10 nights. We've been here since last Monday and we leave them. Thursday. I'm gonna watch the sunset and then I'm gonna meet the others at reception and then we're gonna go to the pool and then I'm still gonna have my sashimi and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna have my steak for dinner. Eating like a queen. Money comes and goes but I'll only be 21 in Fiji once. Take two of going to get my sashimi. I ditched the sunset because there were clouds on the horizon so you couldn't actually see anything and it's gone dark really fast. But I'm gonna go meet the crew in reception. We're gonna jump in a taxi. We're gonna go down to the port. I really hope that I can keep up these vlogs for the next like few days before we go home because I was thinking about just not vlogging this trip because I wasn't really feeling it but I'm feeling it now you know. Okay, I hate to be a nosy Parker, but I just eavesdropped the most wholesome conversation between a father and his daughter who looked like she was maybe seven, saying that she wants to be a YouTuber when she grows up. Isn't that crazy that kids actually think that these days? When I grew up, I wanted to be an architect. Now kids are some of the YouTubers. Pop off. Bulafano, I'm back and I'm fed. Had my sashimi, caught the bulabus back, got back to the room, had my dinner that was mashed potato, salad and steak. But now I'm on my way to Mamacita's, which is a restaurant here, Mexican restaurant. We went there the other night for dinner. I'm going to meet the others who've just got back from their dinner down at the port. I was literally just with them, but they had to finish their actual dinner. And we're gonna get some churros and it's gonna be great. This is really hey guys. You had the banana chimichangas the other night, eh? Yeah. How much were they? Oh, yeah, how were they? Uh, churros are better. Each one. Yeah. Oh no, my lens is gonna fog up from the humidity. Happy Tuesday, guys. We're off on an adventure today. Do you wanna tell the vlog what we're doing today? My camera's a bit foggy, the lens got condensated when I walked outside. Yeah. This morning we're heading out to Minor Island, uh, and Cameron and myself are just starting our survivor. Uh, episode so we're just going to go and see what it's like to be on Survivor Island and uh, that's it so we're catching the like the South Seas catamaran out there but it's the island behind this one that you can see here in the distance we're up nice and bright and early just before seven o'clock we have to be at, down at reception to catch the bus to the port at like eight o'clock at the latest the bus leaves at eight and then we have to board it or the boat leaves at nine so we'll get to the port which will take like only like a five minute drive it'll probably take 20 minutes because we have to stop at every all of the seven resorts on the way so we'll arrive at the port get our tickets board the boat and then we'll be off at nine and then probably arrive at mana at around 10 and then we're spending the whole day there so we'll be back in dinner hour tonight at like six also just need to say from a today perspective i feel like din dinner hour should be pronounced as dinner but that's not how the locals say it. so i'm really confused i'm like is this a taronga taronga thing where the people don't actually know how it's said properly or am i just reading too much into the situation i don't know if you know more about the fijian language than i do please let me know but other than that i need to have some breakfast i woke up this morning and i was just feeling like a little bit bleh. didn't have a great night's sleep and a little bit tired and i was like the thought of having to put together an outfit right now i'm just not feeling confident about it so i said a little prayer popped in the shower and then boom outfit idea came to mind i'm not getting sunburned today because i got absolutely scorched the other day when we did saber that was like a week ago and i'm still paying the consequences from that i got this overshirt my body bikini underneath and then these high-waisted knitted shorts from princess polly so i thought like this is kind of like a cute fit i can't vibe it let me put you guys up here so i can show you I'm gonna have some breakfast and get my bag packed and then we'll be on our way. And who's coming today, you may be asking. It is mum and dad and myself from 
Matt's room. It's Matt Sage, Cam Ash and Ryan, so all of them. And then Rob and Pete and Rebecca from Christchurch. Not from Christchurch, they're, they're here right now, but they're from Christchurch. <laughs> I wasn't even going to come today. I was going to go to Mala Mala instead and I'm so glad that I decided to come here. Because look at this beach guys. The camera will not be doing it justice but it is so stunning. But we have found ourselves some beach lounges and we're going to go for a hikoi up this hill. See so what we can find. We're trying to suss out where tribal council and stuff is going to take place. All the challenges, activities place as well. That's our um, crew there. Found this little shack where they do the lobo, which is like, it's like the Fijian version of a hangi but they cook instead of like with a hangi, how they cook it under the ground that's kind of on top of the ground they were cooking one yesterday outside our room, like at the restaurant, at the back of the Wyndham and there was so much smoke, so much smoke <laughs> Go any further. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it's from one of the sets. So we went for our hikoi and the boys went for theirs and we just ran into them and they've been at the dump. Well, we're walking through the dump right now and I think these are the bamboo and the flax weaving from the little huts that they have to make with their own survival. They found a skull from the set. We're coming down into Sunset Beach, which is where we've been, we've been walking for like half an hour to try and find this one. It's so hot, but here we have it. Stop it. <gasps> Those are from Survivor. There's Survivor stuff. We found Survivor Motorsport Fishing Club. This is almost like a treasure hunt. We found this random place with all of this random stuff. Wow. Great right experience. Hey, Rebecca. How was your food? Oh, it was good, but it did take a while. Yeah, we're still waiting for our dessert. The boys are. Oh, they're over there. They're trying to hatch a deal to buy the cap, the legit cap from the guy who hosts Survivor America. Yeah. They went for a hunt and found all of the props from the challenges on Survivor, which is pretty cool. We're having lunch and it's quarter past two. So we're gonna have, finish our lunch, a dessert. Two and a half hours later. Two and a half hours later. And then we're gonna go for a swim. Cool. Turn around. Crew. We are back at the hotel now. It is like 7 p.m. 7.07 p.m. The boat came in at like 6 and then we saw our friend Tess at the port. Traded him for a bit and then caught the bus back to our hotel where we now are. I don't know what's happening for dinner but I just had a shower and I feel great. And I put on jeans though because it's kind of cold. It's like 27 degrees but I just feel kind of cold because the wind like was absolutely relentless this afternoon. <laughs> Buller guys, it's quarter past eight and I'm in bed. I'm ready to hit the hay. I'm in a hoodie as well because my room was like a little ice box. I have my own heat pump up here and I can't figure it out. It's so cold. I don't have a remote for it either. So I have to go into mum and dad's room and get the remote. And I sat in a hoodie last night and I'm probably just gonna do the same tonight if I'm being honest. And I've just started watching Sarah's Day's latest vlog that she posted like six days ago her vlogs just make me so happy like her family is just so cute and she just lives the life her house is beautiful her family is beautiful but i'm just trying to sort out with sage what's happening tomorrow because we are going zip lining tomorrow but we're just trying to suss out what time we're going and tomorrow is our last full day here and we kind of want to have like more of a low-key day but we still want to go to do the zip lining so we're thinking we'll just do a half day i'm so tired i'm gonna finish watching Thursday's vlog and then go to sleep and then i'll see you guys guys in the morning once I actually know what's happening with our day. Bulla. Welcome to Wednesday. It is 20 past 10 and this morning I got up, went to the gym, smashed an upper body 
workout i swear the ac in that gym does not work because i was sweating and then we had to drop our cousin's bikes back to their place so we mum and jeanette biked the bikes back and matt and sage and i followed walking met them there then the boys came in the car they're borrowing the bro box again then we walked back to the hotel via the sheraton ash and i got crepes and these crepes used to be in a different, like the crepe shop used to be in a different place back when I last came here. And they were so good. And this time they were so average. Like I would not go back. It was, it tastes like onion. I had a Nutella one. I don't know how that works. Must have been what they previously cooked on the same hot plate. But anyway, that brings us to where we are right now. We were going to go zip lining today, but we're not because it was going to be a full day thing from well right now pretty much till 4 p.m i'm so tired after yesterday and so we're like now nah, we'll save that for next time just having a low-key day today i'm about to put my togs on and go for a swim g'day folks it is like 1 30 and i've just been chilling out because we're on fiji time and i'm making the most of it sage and ash and stuff all came over before for a swim in our pool and sage is like to me oh do you want to go for a massage there's a place at the port who that does massages and it's like a couple's massage, you go in for an hour, you both get a massage, and it's 150 bucks, which is a bit of a steal, it's on Book Me. If you ever come to Fiji, look on Book Me, there's some absolute steals on there. So they met the other day, and Sage wanted to go back again, and Matt was like, nah, I'm not keen, and she's like, nah, I'm not keen, and I'm like, I'll go. So Sage and I are going to go for a couple's massage. <laughs> we literally booked like an hour ago, and we're about to leave. And we're in this top, so then they can just like untie it at the back. But guys, I'm so sunburned. I got burnt to an absolute crisp when we did Sab the other day because my antibiotics for my periodontal dermatitis didn't realize they make my skin so sensitive to the sun. I even put on sunscreen four times, still got burnt. This is my little fit for my massage. I need to tie my hair up so it doesn't get oil in it. All right, we're gonna try that again. You guys didn't see, but we rocked up to the massage place and they're like, oh, sorry. We moved your appointment from two till three. I was like, I don't check my emails when I'm on holiday. Like, I was actually really rude to her. I felt really bad, but I was just not super impressed. Anyway, we came back to the resort and now we're going back to our appointment. So let's go to get a massage now. Oh, Bula. I love how you're dressed up real cute for the sunset cruise and Cameron's wearing the same thing he's been wearing for the past week. <laughs> he said, please let me wear my survivor gear. <laughs> Bula Sage, how was your Bula massage? Bob. It's very good. Oh, Feeling very relaxed. And we just went to the owner's drinks and got some free drinks. Got a photo with Rex. Updated photo. Insert 2019 photo. Insert 2023 photo. Oh, Bula Fano. We just had the meanest dinner. We had a massive barbecue with everyone. But it is 9.43 p.m. And I just realized that I leave tomorrow. And my bag, all the contents of it are currently in this wardrobe. And my suitcase is sitting over here empty. So I need to pack my bag. We also just had a swim and it was so much fun. I took lots of photos on my camera. So I'll put those in so you can get the vibe. Good morning guys. Last day in Fiji today. It is Thursday and we are heading home later on today. My brother and his flatmates and my auntie and uncle, their flight leaves at two and then mum and dad and I plus our friends, our flight leaves at seven o'clock tonight. At nine o'clock we're going to the beach bar place here to have breakfast. It's Cameron's birthday today. Yeah I packed up my bag last night and I've got my stuff that I need for today just sitting here. We have to check out of our room at 12 so I think after that we'll go down to the port or do something. But anyway, let's go and grab some breakfast. Yeah. Alrighty, we have seen the others off and now we're hustling and bustling to get ourselves out the door but I'm going to give you guys an, uh, an empty house tour. Start from the outside, shall we? We were in room 0004, also known as Prez 4. Blows my mind that we're even staying here. Come in the door. We have the living area, which goes out to the outside area, which I'll show you shortly. Dining table, full-size kitchen. We only went out for dinner like three times the whole time we were here, so that's great. And here is the master, which is where my auntie and uncle were. Nice. This bathroom is huge, guys. Bath, shower. With, like you can see up to the sky, that's really cool. And then there's an outdoor shower. Like fully, like outside. That's kind of fun. Dunny in there with really reflective tiles. Then out here is the bedroom, which looks out to the outside area, which is where our pool is. And we also have an ocean view, which is pretty priceless. Coming out of here, down here is, this is the laundry in the cupboard. Love that. There's a little half bath. This is mum and dad's little bathroom while we were here. And then back out here, mum and dad's room. 
doing some last minute packing. And then this was our a second bathroom, so it's got like a bath shower and another sink and a toilet. And then this was my room. Got a mirror, bed, TV, heat pump, and then the view out the back. Luscious green grasses and the adults pools like just over there. This was our time to live like kings and queens to live in luxury We will not be living like this next time we come so we're making the most of it, but we need to go check out Oh my gosh, I've got stage right. Grass in between my toes. They make my sin, let them sin? No, we ain't doing that. 